What's up guys? Okay, uh, Supreme finally dropped their 2013 fall winter preview. So we got a look at everything they're pretty much going to drop for fall winter. Of course, there's going to be some secret drops, some collaborations, of course, shoe collaborations. Rumored Nas T, that'd be amazing. Uh, rumored Foam Posit, still curious to see how those are looking in person. I know those photoshops have been uh, floating around. But yeah, so I just wanted to make this video, kind of get back into the Supreme videos. That's, that's what I love doing. Um, just kind of wanted to show you guys like the key pieces I think of the drops, some of the cool stuff I thought, and uh, pretty much my favorite stuff that I'm looking out for. And just asking you guys like, what do you guys think of the drop? Give me your opinions in below. Um, what are you guys looking for? And yeah, um, let's get right into that video. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll start off with the jackets. These are pretty much going to be the, I think, my opinion of the standout pieces in each category this year. We'll start with the jackets, like I said. I live in Florida, so I can't buy any of these, so I'm envious of you guys up north in New York and all those places that get to buy this cool stuff. Too hot to buy this stuff. Um, we got the Champion, they're doing a few jacket um, hoodies with Champion this season, it looks like. This one, we got a jacket with a printed hood on the back. Super cool, and then this expensive looking jacket, this looks like, if you have this, you got money. Um, this diamond kind of quilted leather fur hood. Super cool looking hoodie. I'm guessing that's gonna be a thousand bucks or an 800 range. And then of course we got this one of the pr new prints this season is lion all over with the puffed um, nylon uh, hood jacket. And then we kind of got this cool rose looking one, kind of an old vintage looking jacket with two roses on the front. I uh, I like to get that jacket in the black. Um, depends on the price. Depends how thick it looks. All right, guys. Now here's like the standout pieces, the kind of the key pieces I think of like the. Especially shirts, long button up, stuff like that. First off, we got this baseball uh, jersey, I guess you can say, with an S on the side. Looks like it's stitched, um, emblem stitched in. Nothing too crazy. I'm not real psyched on those. I know those are going to sell out fast, though. People are really liking the jerseys. And then we got this um, long sleeve kind of football digital jersey. Kind of a cool jersey, not super, you know, there's other things I would like. I know a lot of people are going to want these. These are what I'm looking for right now, these cool little football jerseys coming in four colors numbers on, on back, back and front. Those are going to be cool. This is one of their new prints. I don't know if this is going to be like the PCL because this is pretty much coming in a hat. It's coming in a jacket, shirt, so you can pretty much wear it all Franklin if you want. You look ridiculous in my opinion though. But yeah, this is. I'm sure people are going to be going crazy for this one. I'm not into this one at all. And then we got this hockey. That is probably one of the hottest pieces this season. It's going to sell out immediately. I really want to get this hockey jersey. And then of course we have that lion print again, Chuck and dress shirt, cool shirt, not really going for it though. And then I think this looks super cool, these paisley button ups, long sleeve. All right guys, so now here's like the uh, sweatshirts, hoods that I think are pretty, gonna be pretty popular this season, kind of the best stuff I've seen in this category. Of course you got the, the box logo, heavyweight kind of pullover. I really wanna get one of these, just a staple of any Supreme um, collector, you know. It's, it's pretty much what the same brand stands for. That's what started it all, is this logo. It represents Supreme to the fullest. You got you notice you got the two different uh, camos this season. Not really feeling those though. I just want a plain black one like Nas had on. And then of course we got the champion pullover. I might try to get this. It has that printed hood and the champion emblem. And then this flag one. I'm not feeling, but it's different. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna want to get something different like this. Flags all over. And then this is just, I was just looking at this, I saw they had uh, some selvage denim, and I've been wanting to get some Supreme uh, selvage denim, so I'm probably going to save up and spend some money on these. And then also we have, they have a mini box logo Supreme, like last season, but this one is only a half zip. And then the Supreme small box logo sweatpants that go with it, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be trying to get those. And then we have an SUP sub uh, Supreme crew neck, that's kind of a cool thing to get. I might get one of these depending on the price. I can't wear that many sweatshirts in Florida. You only got really two cold months, uh, two months of cold weather. Right here we got the kind of the shirts that are dropping. Not that many shirts. I'm guessing the shirts gonna be the first thing that drops with Supreme. We got this anti-establishment with a car, cop car flipped over. Love that. And then Joan the Art T. This is on the back. I love this kind of um, Renaissance kind of art. The Supreme on the logo. I love that kind of stuff. Black scale does great stuff like that. And then we got the Sean McGowan. I don't even know how to say his name. I have no idea who was that is before um, Supreme did this collaboration. I'm not looking really to pick that up. I'd rather have the Nas photo tee. And then the Shaolin, Shaolin um, come and get some tee. I think it looks super cool. It reminds me of Wu-Tang and that classic Kung Fu vibe. Definitely want to pick that one up. And then this one, the Virgin Mary all over print. Um, 
I'm not a fan of that at all, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to get that. It's kind of a cool shirt. It's not my thing. Now here's some of the camp caps and five panels and beanies that are going to be coming out. Um, not, I don't think the, the camps that I've seen were not really this strong this season. Um, I think the standout, the best camp hat, probably the best hat they got coming out is this um, Stars camo hat. I really want to get that one. Stars look like they're uh, stitched on. Red box low and camo. I think they look super cool. And then beanies, like I said, I live in Florida, I can't really get beanies, but I thought this Cosby one looked real cool. It looks kind of knitted and quilted, got a little raised pattern, the spring box logo, that looks cool. And then this diamond tweed one. I like the colors, but I really can't wear be like leather hats, it just doesn't look right on me. And then a football one, not really feeling that, I'm sure a lot of people are going to like it though. And then of course the Franklin, which seems like the PCL of this season, not feeling that either. And then a cool, um, it's a box logo um, Cortex hat. Those look like they're going to be a little bit of uh, some change. Cortex is expensive. But yeah, I might pick one of those up depending on the price. And then we got a little Jesus beanie. I think that looks kind of cool. And then um, a Liberty Supreme camp hat. I think those look cool too. Might try to get one of those. And then a repeat Supreme in the back. It's like, here we have Supreme's accessories. They got a bunch of different accessories dropping this season. Um, of course, for the usual backpack and like the little purse thing, and then the cell phone carrier they're going, but just uh, that stars emblem stitched on, uh, stitched on all over the material. So nothing really. I'm not really. I don't need a backpack or anything like that. Just something you guys to look at if you want that. Um, we got this uh, 20, 14 karat mini Jesus piece, super small, smaller than a quarter. I'm really interested to see the piece on that. This uh, GM box speaker, I would get that in a second if the price was pretty reasonable. Um, this new testament, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, it's kind of a stash box, Virgin Mary candle, nothing crazy. Um, it's a pretty much a braided leather belt. I, I don't really need one, I still got the rose um, etched in belt from a couple seasons ago, scarf. And then we got this um, super supreme, super supreme leather man, uh, micro, kind of just like a pocket knife. Nothing really there for me. Flask. I don't know who needs a flask. They need a diamond cutout crystal ashtray. Um, a Zippo ebony lighter. I'm sure that is going to sell pretty quick. Supreme lighters always sell super quick. And then this is pretty interesting. A gold deck of cards. Um, I don't really know what the material is or anything like that. I don't know if it's just paper, like spray painted gold, but it kind of looks like they're actually um, like a hard material. Interesting piece. Let's see how much that is. Uh, crown. A bottle opener. Still got my uh, AK-47 kind of bullet bottle opener from last season. This um, Supreme uh, Sport Rollerball pen. I don't even know really what that is. Um, Supreme fuck on the flashlight keychain. Flashing keychain. I guess it flashes, not flashlight. Virgin Mary keychain. Hate keychain. That's pretty much what they're putting over a lot of their shirts and um, button-ups. Don't really like the hate all over thing. And then we got a World Trade Center um, pin. I know a lot of people like the pins, they put them on their hats, a Taz pin, and then a little fucker pin, and then the, I gotta get the skateboards this um, this season, this is cool, this is a Supreme Flag deck, and then we got a Bruce Lee deck, and if you guys seen, they have a Supreme uh, Bruce Lee collaboration with Vans, there's pictures of those uh, Vans, like Skate Highs, and I think Airs were rele released on the internet, go check that out, um, I think that's a cool deck to have. And then of course that the flag is like that it's like classic Supreme box leg with flags behind it. All in all, I think the season is um it's really not fall and winter really isn't for someone like me who lives like in a warmer climate, you know. We I pretty much just get the tees, get some camp hats, maybe a five panel, and some, mostly some accessories. I know you guys in New York, you're lucky you get all these jackets and beanies and stuff. I know beanies are pretty a real um sought after for all the people that live up north and in London, so I know you guys are going to be happy with that stuff, but for me, it's an okay season. Um, I really like the, um, the accessories, they're real different, cool accessories. We got, we got three good shirts right off the bat, so hopefully we'll see a Nas tee, hopefully we'll see some foam posits, but overall, I think it's like, I give the season like a B. Let me, go, let me know what you guys think of the season, what you guys are looking to get, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, the store opens on August 22nd. And then August 29th, the online store opens, so on the 22nd, we'll pretty much know what the first draft is going to be. So um, stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching again, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys probably after the 29th sometime in my first uh, pickups.